Hey everyone, this is Tim and I'm back with a very special story for you. Happens to deal with my son Gabriel and the way I feel he's saved in my life. So watch today's video while I share that special story with all of y'all. Last week, Halloween night, before we took the kids out for trick-or-treating, me and Sarah had a little tit-for-tat, a little argument, if you want to call it, where things weren't going right. I was trying to, you know, have the kids clean the room. She got upset. I told her that she had shown a bad example to the children because her room was just as messy as theirs, and she gets mad at them for the room. Why get mad at them for them the same way? Just show it. Clean up, show them an example. My OCD that I have and my possible Asperger's and my bipolarism, manic depressiveness, all just flew off the hook with me. All of a sudden, while we were walking to go trick-or-treating with the children, started complaining that my throat started hurting. It was hard to swallow. Halfway through, my chest started hurting. <laughs> yes, I have asthma. Maybe that's what it came from. I don't know. But it got worse and worse and worse to where I still walked for the kids. I didn't say anything. I got home. Sarah cooked dinner. I couldn't eat it because I couldn't swallow. So I didn't even have her make me a plate. I went ahead and laid on the couch from when I was sitting on it. Held my hand over my chest. Try to massage my throat with my other hand. And it was in pain big time. You know, Sarah thought I was sleeping. Kids thought I was sleeping, but I was up the whole time. I heard everything they were talking about. The videos that Sarah was watching on YouTube. About the girl who had the, uh, Nick, the, the Nick box. With all the all real monsters and... Rugrats and cat dog style items and everything. Heard the kids say that they want to take the tablet and the charger and use it. So I wasn't asleep. But the whole room was foggy for me. It was like I was in two worlds at one time. <laughs> what I mean by that is, it was hazy. And Sarah, Izzy, and Sean were not the only people in the room with me. Ah, uh, yes, I saw them. <clears throat> but who else was there with me? Gabriel. I saw Gabriel. He was in the front room with me. There was some older person playing with him, too. Couldn't make out that person. <clears throat> but I'm wondering if it was a relative that's there, my brother who passed away recently, back in August. I don't know. But I swear that was Gabriel. I'm sure of it. He looked at me. Beautifulest boy I've ever seen in my life. So I wish Sean and you they're beautiful, too. He looked at me a few times, almost like a look of like, what are you doing here kind of look. So I'll go back and play with that person, swinging on a swing, everything. How did a swing get in my living room? I don't know. It's like an outside playground swing, but I don't know. Playing some games, running around up in that playground up there that he was in. But I saw him. I felt myself go up to him, even though it's still on the couch. And try to hug him. <laughs> Gabriel looked at me and said, I love you, Daddy. But what are you doing here? It's not your time. <laughs> Mommy and Izzy and Sean still need you. Please go back to them. 
tell them I love them and I miss them. And I will see them when they come back to heaven. I finally got back to the normal world. Seeing just what I normally see each day. <clears throat> got up, looked at the clock. It was around 2, 2.30 in the morning. I don't know where time went or how it happened that quickly. <laughs> so, I go ahead and try to walk myself to bed. I fall to the ground. I slowly... Move myself on the floor to the bed, try to sleep with Sarah. I make it all the way to the side of my bed almost. <laughs> and I knock out. There I am, back in that world. I see Gabriel looking right at me. Beautiful little boy, strawberry blonde hair. He says, Dad, now is not the time for you. You need to go back to Mommy. She needs you. So does Sean and Izzy. And so does my other brother and sister. Who is he talking about? I don't know. He gave me a hug. <laughs> and all of a sudden, like, you snap at your fingers. That scene was all gone. Gabriel was gone. And I wake up. It's about 5.30. 5.25.30, give or take. And I crawl the best I can, pull myself up in the bed to go to sleep. And have a dream that I remember after that. If it was a dream real, I don't know. <clears throat> All I remember after that is Sarah coming up to me. Let me know. Hey, we're about to leave. They were getting ready to go to work and school while I'm off. Dealing with my issues. So I don't know what happened. But part of me wonders. Because when I was sleeping... <laughs> Or laying on the couch. After that argument we had, me and Sarah, I actually said, if it's my time, please take me. And I tell you, when I saw that extra world, it was so beautiful. Seeing my son there, and Gabriel. <laughs> but seeing it with the world that I'm in now, She's the heck out of me, to be honest with you. I love my wife. I love my family very much. When Gabriel told me for the second time, it's not my time to go back and help mommy and Sean and Izzy. And then he waved me by. And he said, my other brother and sister need you too. I don't know what that means. Is there a people on the pregnant? I don't know. Could we be having another child soon? Or does he mean like a brother in Christ that's going to be helping me one day? I don't know. But I truly believe in my heart. I almost went last week, Halloween night, and Gabriel... Help me get back home, back on Earth, physically with Izzy and Sean and Sarah. I think Gabriel saved my life. Tell me it's not my time. This is the second time I've had a dream about him. But last time I knew it was a dream. This time, I felt like I was in between both worlds. So... I'm going to let y'all go right now. Just with one little question. Have y'all ever had an out-of-body experience 
that made you feel that you were with a loved one that passed away? That you were physically next to him, seeing him just like you see everybody else on your daily day? If so, leave that comment below. <clears throat> Let me know how you got through it. Let me know how it felt to you. If any advice on what may have happened, please leave a comment on that too. Let me know. Give me some advice. <laughs> you know, I'm not on any medicine that causes hallucinations, but psychiatrist does have me on some medication, like Zoloft and everything for anxiety and PTSD and OCD and stuff like that, but I don't think it would have caused this. Think you have some advice that can help me out? Let me know. If you would like to, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to see more videos from us. They may not always be the best, to be honest with you, but we're going to give out the best videos that we at Top Hat New Year's could possibly do for you. Again, this has been Tim from Top Hat and Ears, and I am hoping that you are having a wonderful and blessed day and that God is watching out for you and so your loved ones up in heaven. And I will see you on our next video. Bye.